It was a long. To have a what the hell, man? I was doing the frickin' Whatever narration. Whatever around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. It's all perfect until 2020 hits. I mean... Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run. Yes, Papa. To live. Papa. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. Hmm, was he rich? He made a modest fortune up north. Oh, rich. In a peaceful valley, far away from the war. For weeks, I held on to that thought. Until the valley from my mother's stories. I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. It's beautiful. I haven't seen it yet. I don't actually know. I'm just trusting the guy, you know? I'll take his word for it. Welcome, my friends, to Medieval Dynasty. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Actually, no, this is... Medieval times, we medieval fighting. Ah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Mother was right. Wait, this isn't a valley. This is a forest. Where's the valley? Val. Um. Yeah. No. Neither of those say valley. Um. Gostovia. Ah, uh, yes. Here in Gostovia, you collect maple branches for currency. This is the Gostovian way. Ooh, birch. Well, that's not the Gustovian way, but I'm going to try a new business here in Gustovia. You know, everyone sells maple branches, but I'm out here being unique. I don't want to be a sheep. Oh my god, it is beautiful. Onward to Gustovia. Quaint little village, quaint little village of suckers for me to take advantage of with my brilliant business ideas. Rob? Oh, I'm getting some, like, Elder Scrolls vibes now. Oh, a little coin rob robbery ah what a come up suddenly things <laughs> things aren't looking so bleak i'm no longer just a homeless man with a business idea i am officially well off i think maybe i don't know oh, nothing in this shed they learned their lesson hop the fence oh skills hello madam okay goodbye madam hello sir Goodbye, sir. I guess nobody wants to talk. Nobody's interested in me. It's like I'm a ghost. Just like in real life. Okay, we don't want to be... Oh. The golden goose. Gosling. It'll turn into a golden goose. I guarantee it won't turn white. Promise you. How many people you think got away with that in this time? <laughs> Someone heard of a golden goose in like some urban legend. Jack and the Beanstalk. And they were like, hey, I want one of them. And someone was like, look. You see, these geese are white. And annoying, just like that one in the game. Some untitled game. You probably never heard of it. This little one you see is gold. They just have one baby duck. They hide all the other ones. All right, I'm here to talk to the Castellan. I don't know what you do. Or who you, which one of you is who. Uni ghost. Ooh. Is that like a non-gender ghost? Hey, stranger. What brings you to live in our valley? You don't look like a merchant or pilgrim. I am a businessman. Wait, that is merchant. Wait a second. What about me doesn't say businessy to you? Rasimir is my name, and I came from the south looking for my uncle, Jordan. I heard them say that one in the cutscene. In this old home, they called him Jordan the Raftsman. So I should probably be looking on the water. Oh, I haven't been reading what he said. Jordan, ah, yes, he told me once about his life on the river. You came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. <gasps> Who took his fortune? Who did he leave it to? He was a great man and an even better friend, Rasimir. As a good craftsman and an excellent trader, he made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He built and ran it, as well as many other shops you will find in the valley. So who owns them now? Me? My mother told me that he got wealth. Wealthy in the north. I had no idea how wealthy. So you better not lie to me, old man. Your uncle got himself killed, my friend. 
He had this idea of a huge trade with the German kingdom in the west. Five carts filled with the best iron ore, beautiful colored linen, and our excellent beer, pulled by ten oxen. He was not fooling around, I can tell you that much. But what will I wear? Well, I mean, what happened to him? His trek got ambushed by bandits. His carters slaughtered. He must have put up a good fight. Took two with him to death from what we saw when we searched for him. I buried him myself, or better, what the wolves left behind. I'm sorry to be the bearer of such news. Uncle, the money... Don't say that. I wouldn't let nephew of Lorden go to waste. And even if most villagers forgot fast, what they owe your uncle, I have no intention to join them here. I am the caster, and my word carries weight. So tell me, can you build your own fortune? I got this birch wood tree idea. I was kind of hoping for some startup capital. That's good enough. I may not have goods or gold to offer, but you can have as much land here as you want. Not sold, but granted to you for life. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep some livestock, and follow your uncle's dream. A free land? How generous of you. You took my uncle's wealth, you son of a... As much as you put to good use, my boy, and as long as you can pay your tax. Oh, there's the catch. Nothing's free in life, people. This is what, I, this, is what this should be teaching you. You can cut down trees to build your house. Reed grows by the river. It will work well for a roof. Do you have some food with you? I think I got an... I mean, no. There was nothing in the shed that... I, I mean, I just came here straight from there. If necessary, you'll find several vendors in our village. If you don't have enough money for food, you can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Okay... Do you have a bow? What is your child doing? Is he telling me to like... Is that some Italian like, Hey, I fuck you. I feel offended, sir. I'm thinking you killed my uncle. Oh, she's sweating. She's sweating. We got him, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Let me see. I have something special for you. This is a hammer your uncle used to build the house in which he grew old. What better tool could you use to build your first home? I don't know, a more modern one? Now we need two rocks, which... Which I would presume are by the river. I don't have shoes on. I look like Aladdin of Agrabah. Or the pirate that had to walk the plank. One of the... Oh, a rock. Told you they'd be down by the river. Where the rock gamelons grow. Alright, relax. Alright. Don't everyone... Don't... Don't everyone moo at once. Jesus, sir. Could you get your cows under control? They're out here just giving our old moo. Easy there, girl. It's gonna be okay, laddie. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. It sounded like there was way more cows than three. I'm a survivalist now. Let's go cut down one of these trees. There's too many trees right here. I don't like it. This tree is interfering with other trees. It's time for you to go. Oh, I missed. One more. Here we go. Timber. Right into... <laughs> Right into another tree. Excellent. Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. We've we've broken it up. Got some logs. Don't know where he's putting those, but I don't think I want to know, actually. This guy would uh, make for someone good to smuggle things into prison. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, cartel, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Oof. That's what I call all bark, no lube. What is this? Feathers? Is there, a, is there a bird family in that tree? That's my bad. You know what? Pine trees make a nice house. Nice, sturdy. We got a little maple, a little pine. We'll have ourselves a beautiful log cabin in no time. Oh, more feathers fell out of this tree. Um, my bad. We're also getting hungry and uh, thirsty. And I got bad news. I'm, I'm like 95% sure I'm overburdened. And I'm also 95% sure that they took my freaking apples and stuff, which um, sucks. Also, can I put these logs somewhere? Cause now I like physically can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't move. I dropped seven logs. Why is it just one log? Oh, seven logs in one. That's magical. Okay, we need to go get ourselves uh, situated here. Um, we're gonna need some food 
And like I said, I feel like they stole my apples and stuff that I stole. Who steals a man's goods from stealing the goods? Or st who steals from a stealer? A little bit of water. I didn't say anything about needing to boil it. Also, do reeds count as straw? They do. Let's maybe go back up to the shed and see. <laughs> See if they just put it back. Was it this shed that I did? No, I don't think so. Because there was people watching me when I went to this one. But we could probably just take a quick peek. Just feathers. No eggs? Come on. All right, well, this is the shed that I was originally in. Oh, okay, they just returned everything to here for some reason. Oh, I transferred everything that I... <laughs> oh, no. I literally transferred everything that I had into the storage. <laughs> now we're back in business. I got all of my stuff back. I should probably wear my clothes again. There we go. I got some shoes and some, some clothes. Now I'm not walking around in my underwear. Much more respectable. All right. Ate all of the apples and some of the dried meat. Took quite a bit. My guy was hungry. He can eat a lot. But um, time to build our first house. I'm not sure if our house has to be within the city here or if we can build it wherever the heck we want. Let's maybe go to see if we can talk to this guy again. What is he? Is he just like the leader of the of the city, of the town? Hey, uni goat. Uni ghost. What's up? Oh, never mind. He didn't have anything to tell me, so. It doesn't look like there's a ton of room anywhere in the fenced area, so I guess we're just going to go off on our own somewhere here. I kind of want to live down by the river, I'm not going to lie. I mean, this seems like an alright little area, close to town, but on the river. Can I build here? Take out our hammer and go to building mode. Houses. A simple, small house, which requires six logs. Can't place this object so close to another village. Oh. So I'm going to have to go off away from the village and find my own little area. So here's a look at the map. If you're wondering, we're at Gostovia, as you well know. And we got a few other cities around here, but there's not much over near this little river here. So I'm thinking maybe right on the other side of the river here, just down the road or here. If we can here as well, I wouldn't complain about that. But let's just head towards the other river and put it there. Gives us a little chance to explore as well. We got a road here. Probably want to be off of a road. Kind of keeps us from having to do all the infrastructure ourselves as a small nation. We need all the help we can get. So who wants to move into my medieval town? I'll build houses for all of you. Just like Tom Nook. You can have an Animal Crossing good time. Well, I'm trying to find an area that's somewhat flat. But I'm having a hard time doing so. It's a lot of hilliness here. But we're right beside a river now. Not that we weren't before, there's a big one there. Near a lot of cross-secting roads. It's gonna drive a lot of traffic to our humble abode. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Berries, what season is it? I, don't, I think I have to wait till summer for berries. Well, we can build here, that is that is good news. But it does have to be on more even terrain, I was right about that. So you know what, a nice little, nice little place down by the river here. Seems nice. Seems like a nice little cottagey home. This is it. What a view. How do we... Oh. Hello. Oh, okay. So we built the framework. Now we actually have to build the rest of it. Which is going to require, obviously, more. Okay, so each hit is using resources. As we put together the house. I'm seeing how it works. We're essentially using mainly sticks at this point. I'm kind of taking too long here because uh, the, the wolves are going to come out. All right, so we need quite a few more sticks and uh, a fair bit of logs too. Maybe I shouldn't have built this so far away. I probably should have built it like just out of the limits of this town. <laughs> you know what? I wanted a secluded little cabin in the woods, okay? I don't want to hear no gripe about it, see? What the heck? What are these noises? What's trying to hunt me? Leave me alone. I'm just trying to get my logs in peace. 
The scary music has stopped. We're safe. Oh, 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 oh. Promising. All we need to do now, I believe, is just collect some sticks. We're also apparently going to go back towards where the scary music was. Great idea. I know, I know. Don't you worry. No! My hammer broke. <laughs> what the hell? Is there anything stalking me? I've been told there's animals because they said I could hunt. They also said the wolves got my uncle. But, uh, as of right now, I haven't seen any animals at all. St. John's worked. What the heck is that? Well, I broke my uh, uncle's hammer. You know, it had sentimental value, but I guess it's gone now. So, so much for that. Oh, we don't have any more straw and we don't have any more logs. Great. That's just great. I can't get out. Okay, there we go. Oh man, where are the reeds? They're way over here. The damn tutorial didn't tell me to get enough stuff. <laughs> What the hell? I did it. I'm a survivalist. Oh, whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on a second. And welcome, MTV. Wait, I mean, <clears throat> let me open the door for you. <laughs> welcome, MTV. This is my crib and um, hope you can come inside. Just go for the one one room tour. This is where the magic happens. The eating happens. Uh, pretty much everything happens right here in this room. Thank you for coming to my crib. You gotta, you don't gotta stay here, but you gotta get the hell. Go on. I'll see you tomorrow or something.